Hey, what's cracking, fam? We back at it. Budal Malone, that guy there, the boy coach he's the Rottweiler. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. We've been getting a lot of great comments, getting a lot of great questions, and I think I'd like to start reading those off, you know? Something that we all could kind of benefit from, you know? If they think that's a good idea, drop it in the comments and let me know. The question was, if Big Boy ever challenged me for the alpha spot, when he was just a puppy, when he was six months to a year old. And the answer is, I'm sure he did, but it was rare. But I knew for him not to be challenging me, there was things that I had to have in place. And let me just start off by saying, things that I had to have in place never mean Coaches, never mean beating on your dog, hitting your dog, trying to intimidate your dog, because what that is, is abuse. And if that's what you're doing, please stop. Get your game up, get your emotions under control, and uh, learn that there's a different way to handle your dog and for them to see you as the alpha. Because uh, these guys here are very sensitive to the tone of your voice, right? And if you're screaming at them, trying to intimidate them, and you're beating on them, uh, they start to resent you because they know you're not treating them fair, right? And once the Roddy starts to resent you, they're gonna wait for the right time when they've had enough of it. And they're gonna back you in a corner and not let you out, okay? And then at that time, when you, if you move, they're gonna bite you, right? And it ain't the dog's fault, it's gonna be what whoever was abusing them, provoked, and the Roddy just wasn't going to take it anymore. So if that's what you want, please get your game up and don't do that. All right. Now, I knew that there were some things that I had to have in place with him. All right? Because I knew this guy was going to be a really big, a really big boy. His daddy, 150 pounds, and right now, he like 145. And uh, no matter if you got a two pound little dog, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you still gotta have things in place. It's a good idea anyway. And what I had to have in place with him was, uh, when I brought him home, everything that he would eat, it came from my hand. I would cut my hands like a bowl. And whenever he would eat his food, no matter what it was, he would eat it out of my hands. Because what you're doing is, when you do that, he know all good things come from you, right? And when they know all good things come from you and they're not doing without and you leading them, they don't go challenging you for the alpha spot because they're receiving everything from you that they need, okay? Even when I would see him drinking water, I would get down by his water dish and I would let him drink the water out of my hands. I cut my hands like a bow and I'd let him drink the water out of my hands. And we would do this repeatedly because you gotta remember in the wild, Whoever's in charge of the food, that's the alpha. All right, that's the alpha. So you want to start doing that for them to see you as the alpha 
and they don't have a, a, a need to try to take over. Another thing I would do so Big Boy would not challenge me as the alpha, right? Is I would, in the beginning, I would not let him in every room of the house, right? Because even though you including your dog, you and the family, you including your Roddy, your dog, in everything that you do, in the beginning, there got to be a little bit of separation. And in that little bit of separation, there got to be, go oh, Chief, there got to be, come on, come. There got to be a little bit of separation. And in that separation, there got to be things that you do and the family does that they can't do right now. Right now, there's gotta be a couple things, right? And those things being, I wouldn't let him in every room of, of the house, right? Now, he would be allowed in the kitchen, living room, dining room, basically every room, right? All the outside, all that there. But the bedrooms, and the bathrooms he wasn't allowed in. Because again, you gotta have that little bit of separation. It's really hot out here today, so he really loving this cool water. If this is good to you, fam, hit the subscribe, hit the share, hit the like, and even hit that notification so you can see this guy swimming around, you know, all the time, you know. Hit them notifications. All right, so what I would do is I wouldn't let him in all the rooms because there gotta be that separation. Then once things started getting more established and they start seeing you as the alpha and you see that they're not challenging you and they're following your lead, then I slowly start letting him in more rooms. Now he allowed in anyone, right? I said, this is just in the beginning to get things established, right? Another thing I would do there is I would not let this guy here on the furniture, right? In the beginning. Because what Roddy's do is they claim stuff, right? And when a Roddy claims something, that means they're not seeing you as that they're alpha, right? And when they claim it, you ain't getting it back, right? And I know it look cute on video or, or you see a, a, a puppy or a dog laying on the bed, right? And uh, the puppy growl at everybody and everybody laugh. Somebody try to get him off of the bed and the puppy growl, dog growl, and everybody laugh. And that's, that's not really... That's not really how you want to do it. Because your dog should never be growling at you. And they start growling at you, they're not seeing you as the alpha. So in the beginning, I would not let this guy here on the furniture, the couches, and the chairs are on the beds in the beginning. Because they gotta see those things as yours, right? And again, once things start getting established, you can start inviting them on the beds if you want them on the beds. You can invite them on the couch if you want them on the couch, right? And they'll jump up on the couch or jump up on the bed with you and chill. And then when it's time to get off of the bed, you tell them off and they go ahead and jump on off, you know. That's how you want to do that. You kind of want to start a routine like that. So that way they're not claiming something. Because again, when these guys claim stuff, they just don't give it back to you. Okay? So these are things that I put in place for big boy, not the challenge for the alpha stock. All right? 
And this won't work with just Rottweilers. This will work with any dog. Because as you see this guy right here, he happy, right? And for these guys to be happy and have those carefree lives, it gotta come from you. It gotta come from us as the pet parents, right? That's why we got them to enrich their lives and them to enrich ours. All right, fam. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe. Drop comments below. Let's get a dialogue going. Any questions you got, go ahead and leave those down below. And uh, I'll be sure to answer. Bulldog Malone, that wet guy there, big boy Coach East the Rockwaller. Till next time, fam. Peace.